Hi, this is Jacqueline Eckern with Eating Disorder Hope, and I have the pleasure today of interviewing Jenna Moreau about the importance of an alumni community in recovery. Hey, Jenna, can you tell us about what you do at TK? Sure. Um, so I often joke that I have the best job on campus, but I really do believe that. Um, I get to have the privilege of maintaining connection between our campus, those who are currently in treatment, um, and then our community of alumni who have been through our program. So I get to kind of help build a bridge. Um, and what that looks like is bringing back um, speakers from our alumni group to come back and share their stories, their recovery stories, with those who are currently in treatment. Um, we have an ongoing, um, sort of an ongoing tradition of alumni that happen once a month, as well as in our PHP level of care here, I have a weekly group where I bring in alumni to share their story as well. So I get to kind of build this beautiful bridge between those who are struggling now and those who can say, I've been exactly where you are and things get better. So I get to say, I'm kind of a, um, I, I get to create that connection where we can bring hope back and forth across the line. So that's a blessing. And can you tell us a little bit about your own recovery story, Jenna? Sure. So um, I struggled with an eating disorder that started first with pretty severe body image disturbance when I was about three years old. Um, I struggled with that throughout childhood, which then turned into disordered eating around 11. Um, had an eating disorder during a time in our culture when we didn't have words for it necessarily. We didn't have the vernacular that we have now or a language to speak about the things I was going through. So it got mislabeled as several other things by several well-meaning professionals. But finally, um, in 1996, when I was 19, I did go to residential treatment for the better part of a year back then um, and kind of got the tools that I knew I would, that I didn't know, that I, that I would need later um, to be able to actually flesh out my own recovery and to live it. I did not live it at the time that I had that opportunity, but a few years later when I um, kind of had walked the path on my own and realized what I needed to do to actually be able to live a life of balance and health, then I was able to reach back um, into my backpack of tools that I'd gotten in treatment and start to apply them. So I would say at this point, I've been walking out recovery. Um, well, my recovery started when I was 19. I've actually been walking out recovery since um, probably about the age of 25, and I am now 43, so it's been quite a journey. Good for you. And how does TK specifically support alumni from the program? Um, in a number of ways, actually. So we have, I think I mentioned earlier, we have a monthly alum night that happens at the end of every month where we invite back anyone who's been through our program. It doesn't matter if you graduated yesterday or if you graduated 10 years ago. Any alum of our program is welcome back to come. Um, at those nights, we have one or two speakers who will come back and share their recovery story. Um, and then afterward, we also just kind of have a fun time of connecting over some you know, food and games and it's a very casual type environment. Also, weekly, I have that alumni group in PHP, so it's kind of the same thing on a smaller scale. But then in addition to that, we have um, a social media group on Facebook, um, which I think is 4,000 members strong now, something like that. Um, and then we also have annual events like our summer retreat, which happens um, usually in July. It's a two-day event, so much fun. Um, I've said before, I actually wish that everyone had the opportunity to go to treatment so that everyone would have the opportunity to come to this retreat because it is that much fun. It's pretty epic. Um, and then we do also smaller events throughout the year too. So things like Nita Walks and other events like that where there's an opportunity for a community piece to kind of participate. Um, we will sometimes coordinate a luncheon for our alumni or something like that. So we create every opportunity we can for ongoing connection um, and support um, and sometimes just a party. <laughs> it's lots of fun. Sounds like a really nice way to stay connected in the ongoing journey of recovery for people that have been through the TK program. Yes. So why is it so important for an alumni community, um, particularly in eating disorder recovery? I think an alumni community is, is important and is certainly advantageous to anyone in recovery from anything, but in particular with an eating disorder, which is sometimes so hard to explain to those who have not walked it out themselves. Um, I often hear people say, you know, when they first leave TK, I went back to my old life and nobody, nobody gets it. I don't have a way to talk about what I've been dealing with. I, you know, sometimes there's this term, I, I was so safe in the TK bubble because everybody there got me. I didn't have to explain myself. Um, and so I think having an alumni community then kind of takes away that roadblock to recovery. You instantly have a community of people who will get you, who will know where you're coming from, who at the very least will get it enough to, um, 
withhold judgment. Um, and so you don't have to go through that piece of having to explain yourself. You can instead just go to a, a group of people that get it and receive support. Um, and then also I get to witness very often this sort of beautiful reciprocity that happens between a person who's struggling reaches out for help, another person who's on higher ground reaches back, pulls them up where they are, and then invariably at some point there's an opportunity for that to kind of have a splashback effect. And then the person who received the support is the next time the person giving the support. Um, which I think is healthy, it's interdependent, it's how we were created to do life, um, and it works really well for those in recovery. And last of all, are there any special stories that stand out to you of alumni experiences? There are many. How much time do we have? <laughs> um, I think one of my favorites specific to eating disorder recovery was, um, I hope she sees this, oh gosh, I hope she sees this. Um, actually, one of our alumni board members, um, when she was here in treatment, probably nine years ago now, um, had had a really hard, I think it was a family session, really hard family session, came to the meal support table at lunch, just, you know, distraught looking, just looked exhausted. And at first she was kind of like, how am I, how am I supposed to eat my lunch after what I've just been through? Um, and then as the meal went on, she received some support from the ladies sitting near her, probably from the staff as well. Um, and at one point she was halfway through a meal and she goes, you guys, you guys, I just realized something. I can have feelings and eat food at the same time. And it was like, everyone was kind of like, right. But she's like, no, I just got that. Um, and it was so cute. It was like this became this celebratory moment. And we still, I see her at least once a year. And very often someone will be like, hey, guess what? Did you know? And she's like, I know you can feel things in food. Like it's still mind blowing to her after so many years of not knowing she could do that. So um, that was lots of fun. I have many memories of the first time either someone completed a fear food or completed a meal or we you know, had body image challenges and things like that, that are just kind of inherent opportunities for people to have these aha moments of realizing that maybe the way they thought they've had to do life for years and years and years and this sort of sense of bondage in their own mind um, that they're not in bondage, that, you know, it may have, may have felt they were in a cage, but the door is open um, and they're free to go. And that's amazing when people actually get that uh, realization and it's really cool to be there for it. Jenna, thank you for this insight into what an alumni community is. Um, we really appreciate your work with those in eating disorder recovery. Thank you. I love my work. Take care. <laughs>